Hello friends. Do you know what day it is today? Let's figure it out together. Can you find the last shape that we drew on the board? What is the last shape in our pattern? When we find that last shape, we will know what yesterday was and that will help us to determine what today is. Do you see it? Did you guess pink circle? Pink circle was the last shape in our pattern. So yesterday was Sunday, April 11th, 2021. And we are going to move one square over from yesterday. So we start here and we're going to go over to this square. And this is going to be our square for today. And we can already see that today is a special day. So there's two things. In red, it says that it's somebody's birthday. So we will talk about the birthday when we're done the calendar, okay? And we'll do the balloon blow up for her. The next thing is that it's grilled cheese day and I really love grilled cheese. So I'm really excited that it's grilled cheese day. I'm even going to make myself a grilled cheese sandwich for lunch. And you can make all kinds of grilled cheese sandwiches, even if you're vegan or have a dairy intolerance, you can have a dairy free grilled cheese sandwich. It's a very good nutritious lunch. So if we go up to our square here, we need to figure out what shape to put in our next in our pattern. And can you see in our pattern? What do you see after the pink circles? We need to put one of those here. I hear some great guesses. Let's do the whole pattern together and see if our guess is correct. Are you ready? Easter egg, pink circle, orange square. Easter egg, pink circle, orange square. Easter egg, pink circle, orange square. Easter egg, pink circle, orange square, orange square. Did you guess orange square? Let's put it into our square here. And you can put it on a piece of paper or in the air with your finger. Like magic, you can make a square in the air with your finger. Are you ready? Flippy, flippy, I'm ready. Oh, good, 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 good. Let's do that. Okay, can you help me with this? Because it's just too tight for me. Sure, 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 sure. Okay, oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. What shape am I drawing? An orange square. Okay, a square, a square. And that goes round and round and round, right? No, no, it's a square. One line across, down on the bottom up, just four straight lines. Okay, let's see. Good job, Flippy. Okay, I can color it in now. Yep, go ahead. And it's okay if your lines aren't straight or if you kind of make them curvy. We'll keep practicing and we'll get better and better. Every time we practice, we'll get better. Thank you so much. Thank you, Floppy, for helping me with the marker. Well, thank you for drawing it on the board. So now that we know which square is for today, let's enter in our first part of our sentence into our agenda. Did you bring your agenda today? It's okay if you didn't bring your agenda. You can practice on a piece of paper or in the air with your finger, like magic. You can take your finger in the air and practice all of the, all of the letters and numbers that we are making today. So let's put it into our agenda. So we know that yesterday was Sunday, April 11th, 2021, and yesterday I was going to spend time with my cat because it was pet day. And I did that, so we're going to check that off. And next I'm going to put in the first part of my sentence, and I need to put in the first two words, and they are today is. And today has a capital T because it's the first word in our sentence. We always capitalize the first word in our sentence. So capital T, O, D, a Y. And then the next word is. Good job. Now we can figure out what the name of the day is. We can. Let's count up all the days together and see how many there are. Oh, what a great idea. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven days in the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Thank you for seeing that with me. It's so much fun when we do it together. So we can go back to our square for today and move up the column to the top of the calendar and see what day it is. And it is spelled with a capital M-O-N-D-A-Y. Let's sound that out. M sounds like mmm. Can you make that sound? Mmm. Good job. Some other words that start with M are movie or make. So capital M. O-N-D-A-Y, and that spells Monday, Monday. And Monday has two syllables. Will you clap them with me? Monday, good job, one more time. Monday, excellent. Let's put Monday into our agenda. Can you say the first two words with me? Today is, and then we will put in Monday, capital M because it's the name of our day, O N D. A Y and then a comma and that comma reminds us to pause before we say the next word and the next word is our month 
Do you remember how many months there are in the year? Let's add them up and say their names together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There are twelve months in the year. Did you guess twelve? Let's say all their names. Are you ready? January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Good job. And do you remember what month we're in right now? It's the fourth one from the top. Let's see. One, two, three, four. April. So we are in April and we've put April at the top of the calendar and we give it a capital A because it is the name of our month. A has two sounds and it can make a long A sound just like its name and it sounds like A. Can you hear that? A. Like we're going to say ape. Good job. And then it has a short sound and it sounds like ah. Can you try that? Ah. Like if we said alligator. Good job. So April is spelled with a capital A, P R I L. April. April. And April has two syllables. Will you clap them with me? April. Good job. One more time. April. Excellent. Let's put April into the agenda. Can you say the first part of the sentence with me? Today is Monday, comma, April. Capital A. P. R I L. And next we're going to put in the number. What do you think the number is today? I hear some great guesses. Do you remember what the number was yesterday? That will help us to know what today is. So yesterday was 11. When we count, we say 11, but when we put it in the calendar, we say 11. Can you try 11? Good job. So if yesterday was 11, what do you think today will be? I hear some great guesses. Let's go back to the beginning and count up all our days and see if our answer is correct. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Did you guess twelve? Today is twelve. Let's put it into the square on our calendar. You can practice on a piece of paper or in the air with your magic fingers. Are you ready? Okay, Floppy, I got the marker. I need your help again. Okay, let's go. Oh, that was so tough. Okay, Flippy, what are we putting in there? A 12. I counted and it's a 12. And 12 has two digits, a one and a two. Woohoo! Let's do it. Okay, so we start with a one. We start up at the top and we swipe it down. Woo, good job, Flippy. And then a two has a curve at the top. Okay, okay. Go around and then on an, there we go, on an angle down to the bottom and then across the bottom there. A one and a two make 12. And when we put it into the calendar, we say 12. Can you try 12? 12. Good job. Good job. Are you ready to count backwards? 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Blast off! Let's put 12 into the agenda. Can you say the first part of the sentence with me? Today is Monday, comma, April 12th. One, two. One, two is 12. Now we're going to put a comma, and that reminds us to pause before we say the year. And the year is at the top of the calendar, and we say 2021, or you can say 2021. Both of those ways are correct. Two, zero, two, one. And then a period, and that period reminds us to stop. Our sentence is done. Can you say the whole sentence with me? Say it loud so I can hear you. Today is Monday. April 12th, 2021. Next, I'm going to make all my numbers up to the number 12 because I want to practice making my numbers every day so I get really good at them. And I would like you to practice every day as well. So you can practice on a piece of paper or in the air with your fingers. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good job. Next, I'm going to pick one activity I'm going to do today and draw it in my agenda. And I'd like you to pick an activity that you're going to do today and draw it on your paper as well. You can draw it with me while I'm doing mine, or you can draw it later when we're done the video. Can you think of one activity that you would like to draw today that you're going to do? 
I'm going to make a grilled cheese sandwich today. So I think I'm going to try and draw a grilled cheese sandwich. Are you ready? So I'm going to start by drawing a piece of bread. And I need two pieces of bread. And then I need some cheese. And I like to have my grilled cheese sandwich with some tomato soup. Do you like to have your grilled cheese sandwich with soup or just on its own? Maybe with some carrot sticks, celery sticks, or some broccoli trees, or cucumber with some dip. That would be a nice lunch as well. So there's my grilled cheese sandwich for today. And I'm going to print my name at the bottom here because I want to print my name every day. And I'd like you to practice printing your name every day too so that we get really good at it. Are you ready? Don't forget to put a capital. C E L Y N N E. Good job. And if you don't know how to make all these letters or numbers yet, that's okay. You can start by practicing one letter a day. Yesterday we did the letter P. We're going to pick a new letter today. I'm going to draw a line across the paper so we know where our letter needs to sit. Then we can go up at the top and make a line down. Then go back up to the top and make a bump out and then come down. That is an uppercase R. Next, we'll make a lowercase R. And a lowercase R is half the size of an uppercase R. So this is my imaginary line. And I'm going to come half up to there. That's half of the way of an R. And I'm going to make a little line down. Then I'm going to go almost all the way up to the top and make a little line out. R. So it's a lowercase r and an uppercase r. And if you practice one letter every day, you'll get really good at it. And eventually you'll be able to make all the letters in the alphabet. <laughs> Happy birthday! So now that we've completed the calendar, we can check out whose birthday it is. And if we look at the calendar here, this person's name is spelled with a capital O because it's their name. O-L-I-V-I-A and an apostrophe S. And that apostrophe S is what tells us that it belongs to somebody. So this birthday belongs to this person. Let's sound it out. Olivia. It's Olivia's birthday today. And her favorite color is red. Will you help me blow up a balloon for Olivia's birthday today? Are you ready? I'm going to need your help. I can't pull this up by myself. Are you ready? You got to blow with me. Ready? One, two, three. That's one. Are you ready? Do you think we can get it bigger? I think we need a bigger balloon for Olivia. Are you ready? Let's see if we can do one more. Ready? One, two, three. Do you think we can do any more? Let's try one more. Whoa! Check out this big balloon for Olivia's birthday! Let's wish Olivia a really big birthday together. Can we count to three and wish her a happy birthday? Can you say happy birthday, Olivia? Let's do it together really, really loud so she can hear it and then she'll feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Are you ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday, Olivia! <laughs> happy birthday! Floppy! Floppy! Oh, Flippy, you got all the feeling faces! Oh, good! How are you feeling today? What do you think? Are you like this one here? This one is happy. Oh, it's my favorite. I love feeling happy. Are you feeling happy today? Oh, happy is such a good feeling. Hmm, I think I might be happy today. What about sad? Are you sad today? Have you been crying? Has something made you sad? It's okay to be sad. Sometimes we just need to spend some time by ourselves or talk to somebody about it. Hmm, let's see. Ooh, I like this one too. This one's excited. Ooh, I love being excited. Are you excited today? I could be excited. It's Olivia's birthday and it's grilled cheese day. Ooh, lots of things to do today. Hmm, let's see. What about angry? Are you angry today? Hmm, sometimes I get angry and it's okay to be angry. It's okay to be angry. Hmm, I don't think I'm angry today. What's the last one you have there, Flippy? Oh, I think it's shy. Oh, I'm never shy. <laughs> I'm shy sometimes. Let's see. Sometimes I'm shy when I meet somebody new or if I don't know how to do something. 
shy is okay. Let's see. I think we're excited today because it's Olivia's birthday and we get to have grilled cheese. So let's put excited on the board. Okay. I'll help you, Flippy. Well, Mr. Flippy, what do you think you're going to do today that's kind? Oh, I'm going to share my grilled cheese. <gasps> really? Yeah, with you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, Flippy. Oh, thank you. I love grilled cheese. I love it. I love it. I love it. Me too. Let's go have some. We hope you have a wonderful and fun day. We hope you find something kind to do. Can you find something to share with somebody? Share. Share anything. People love it when you share with them. Yeah, yeah. Share. We hope you have a great and wonderful day, and we will see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye, friends. Happy Click the like button and select subscribe so you don't miss out on our future videos.